makes wonders for for the mm-hmm. Pokey fan. He's so, ready. He even got the oh. pipe. Great Even sense. got that pipe one, uh, pipe in his mouth. Oh, they're gonna run in there, looking for the sanking. Have the sun strike start off right off the bat, and that's gonna be first blood for Koala, and a nice little first blood to get as well. The Phantom Lance comes out. That's gonna be Eden going down. Sephir, is it round two for him? Not gonna be the case. So one for one, they do pick off the disruptor for Vision over mid. Don't exactly have high vision. I'm not sure what Rodgy is doing here though. Level one. Oh, I guess he he this needs is, level this is two. This a support bed right here. He needs level two because he, he picked level one napalm for the uh, for for the engagement for the engagement. Yeah. So he needs a level two before he can actually do anything in the jungle. But this is a position four bad rider. It's not an off thing though. Yeah. Uh, so it's just gonna be disruptor and weaver that will be uh, doing bottom this lane, two and two. Bottom lane. Yeah, they they get him too many stuns. Even the centaur will not we be able to deal with as well. Yeah. Oh, poor weather will. And uh, already PL is going to start putting screws to this Invoker with the Orb of Venom as well and Napalm. Just being annoying, Yabby is going to have a tricky lane to deal with. There's more Napalm going to go in here. They might dive him. I think they are going to dive him. That four Napalm stacks and then this is a dead Invoker. There's really nothing else. The TP a little bit too slow there. The Scorpion coming in looking for a Barrel Strike but he just didn't have the mana. And it uh, looks like the Shrine was solo used there by TE but they're going to go and Yabby once again like hello. Stack him with the Napalm and run him down. There is another lands as well. They're going to walk him down and Yabby killing spree for TE. There's middle lane out of control already. More illusions there could be farmed up here if they want it. Uh, the two supports probably have to sit mid from here on out. The rotations for Roger has been on point so far. Like it's two minutes in the game, he's been rotating twice, and it's just ca causing so much problem for for this invoker already. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, you know. Oh well, yeah, be oh, uh, bottom lane though. What's the water gets done? Oh, here comes the sun strike. Oh, that's that's gonna. Oh, he gets a swoop stomp. Does he get out? One and more again. Nah, yeah, no. he's dead. Gets popped. No salves. I mean, no fairy fire there to offset the damage and coming in. Do you actually prioritize this battle creation? Actually. I would say most of the time you would take spell amp, but magic resistance twenty percent is a lot. Like for 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 this current draft, like the RQ is playing though. Um, I don't know, but we have to watch Kalthazard. He's in a little bit of trouble there. They have a glimpse. Oh no, he didn't use the glimpse first. He still has it. All right, you can use him. Tosses him back into that kinetic field, into the fire. Drop drop down low. Oh, the Scoochie just not gonna be able to tag him there. And they'll sun strike lands on Shionix. There's no uh, there's no tango for him. There's no stick charge. There's no fairy fire. And Lion will take him out. So it's a uh, Weaver for the Timbersaw. A okay trade, I say, given RQ situation. They are spammed with Napalm. Oh, mid lane though, yeah, he gets dived yeah. in by T. Evoker cannot do anything against uh, over level PL. He's, he's such a beast on this hero though. Oh, he sees him. Tosses out the lance. Is he going it? For... I think he goes he, in. He's for good. It. Nah, he's got DP. Yeah, now. So. Okay. That, that's definitely the spot. That's there. still a loss though. Oh, meanwhile, top lane action all around. Eden gets brought down. Sukuchi means an easy escape for the Weaver. And the Timbersaw will try and cut away. But here comes the Wind Ranger ready for a shackle. But only a level one shackle. Doesn't set up that power shot well. But Koala is uh, still going to get take that kill with the focus fire, strafing down the Bat Rider. Run level one, only three seconds for that run away. So, oh, if he goes aggressive here, of all things, and Koala in trouble here, he's gonna pop the wind run, looking for that cooldown. He is now gonna run, but the Thunder Strike is there. Body blocks all the way, and he's gonna have a very easy time. The Glimpse comes back out, but the Lance already takes him out, and pew! A mega kill here for the mid laner of RRQ. Yeah, but hope our bottom lane, Velo. Oh, yeah, bottom lane, Velo oh. with a fairy fire, keeps himself alive, and Eden. They lose four heroes on the bottom lane. Yeah, it was just disastrous. Like, there was a three, ma two man stop, and they just back the hell. Doesn't exactly have the right clicks to actually, you know, like after following up all the spells, do they can actually kill it? Oh, they're not allowed though. Bottom Voila. lane. Zephyr gonna try and stall it up. There's a nice sun strike as well to turn things around, but it's a low level sun strike because your invoker is just so damn poor. And there's a wind ranger going down and Eden about to feed another kill with Shonix as well. You can you can hex him, but he has Sukuchi and he has a bailout in terms of that R button as well. But Eden will not be getting out of this one alive. He goes for the impale. Will he find it? Now Sukuchi taps him and that's it. Eden and now you have feed it, huh? Yep. Yeah. Amazing. More deaths going over and I mean not too unexpected, Geek Fam. Yeah, Geek Fam is just slowly dominating everything right now. Objectives over objectives. I wouldn't even say it's slow. It's pretty, pretty brutal yeah. the way they are. They're you know, handling. Sometimes you them. gotta, you know, be gentle a little bit. You know? Yeah, of course. Yep. <laughs> the Timbersaw now gonna pull back in, and there's the Disruptor with the oh, Silence as well. He will be able to get out of the way. Yeah, that was, with that that was instant good reaction there. Yep.
And uh, Tihi just saying, you can't do much to me. You want to try Barrel Strike? It's probably not going to kill me. There's a Shackle Shot, but he doppelgangs away. And now he turns it around on them. They don't even know. He's just baiting. And the Lance comes out. Oh, there's a bait. He might actually die here. Yeah. Overcommit. And uh, he gets blown up yeah, by a Sunshine. He actually micro his Illusion to the sideline. Mm -hmm. He was expecting an RQ. Even if it was for memes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You know, you, you're gonna do it, Naruto. Oh, thing, right? they're gonna be stunning him up. There's the finger as well. No, no finger. They're just gonna blow up the uh, Phantom Lancer. So he's down. The lasso gonna pull that Sanking into the silence. So they will at least get a revenge kill, but they lose their PL again, which is pretty detrimental to them. The Sun Strike actually getting that kill. So you know, for that top, the top lane, you can see Keltuzat wants to dive onto Velo though. Velo dropping very, very low, so hiding in the jungle. Chakram. Oh, that's Stomp. Good Stomp there, just buy himself a little bit of time. There is still a double edge potential. The Sun Strike going to be airballing here. Kel'Thuzad getting juked there by the whole bunch of creeps. Oh, there's another Whirling Death. He gets the kill, so that's a tick oh, going his way. And strength Heroes eaten up by the Timber Soul, as usual. Crimson, bottom lane. Let's be careful. They see him. There's the Sand King. Walks right into him as he glimpses it back in. Yep, glimpses it back in. The Barrel Strike misses. And then oh just my god, that crimson. Crimson is just hiding in trees. But now, gets caught out, there's no stun, and. Yeah. Kinetic Field's gonna buy some time, but I'm surprised they didn't do for the impale there. Sunstrike's gonna airball, but this shouldn't be an escape for him. And another kill going the way of RQ. Sloppiness starting to overtake Geek Tram here. But uh, now they might look for the Invoker. They see him with that. Uh, nope. There's the Stampede, and they find him. Oh, immediate Ghost Walk, but nope. Oh. There's a Dust. Hello. But uh, TP rotation coming in. Timber Saw gonna try and bring him down. Yabby in a lot of trouble, but they immediately double gang. And uh, they just pretty much just. You know, put the Invoker into the ground. Timber Saw instantly got glimpsed back. Oh, wait, oh. Okay, but uh, Velo. Between a rock and a hard place, Eden doesn't have that finger of death, but here comes that PL, he's ready to land in mm. with that hoof stomp, and he does get that kill. Eden, meanwhile, gets found out here by Shionix, but that will not be a kill developed from there. And uh, middle lane, they're looking for the Keltizard Dippersaw, but I don't know if they can kill him. They have that silence, oh, they will find him, they trap him right oh, in the there, dips. but they pull him out of the silence. They get his core items up, you know, at this point, they're, they're, they just, they have to do their best to not get caught out. It's a very aggressive lineup from Geek Fam. Just using this Bat Rider aggressively, they pull the line and immediately stomp it. They don't even need it. The shackles, though, very nicely done there from the Wind Ranger. Keeps things interesting for now, but Zephyr is going to go down. He's going to take from the Thunder Strike. They pull Koala back with the Disruptor, and uh, this is exactly yeah. what they can't do. They can't get caught out like that. But then again, is it really their fault? Oh, no. Oh, no. Even the last so as well. And more Chain Suns all around oh, in the no. lands as well. Finish things off. Geek Fam is just overpowering RQ right now. Mm -hmm. Like, it, 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 like RQ is just helpless right now. It's a precision hero. So when you have so many targets all around the place, it's very hard to focus. Oh, and now they go for Rocky again. They don't have the lasso, but it's not going to be needed. They just jump on top of him. They napalm him up. And yeah, there you go. Velo getting another easy kill. Invoker dying for the fifth time this game. Well, RQ just get kills with that farm. Uh, they farm and then they get Sunstrike kills and then they just do the combo. And now we're gonna have a stampede rolling in. They do not have the lasso for now. The horse steps in. They drop the silence onto Lion, onto the Wind Ranger. Poor old Lion. This is gonna be one of those games. The pull back in Sephir as well. He has power strike in one second. He's gonna try and peace out. Will he get out in time? Here comes Velo, uh, the Wind Ranger, trying to trying to be relevant in this game, but just really falling short. Before that, constant pressure coming out here. You see the Sand King trying oh, to get his no. dagger. Never happening. The Sunstrike, though, no, does Ooh. find it. Sephir stays alive. That uh, Finger of Death buying in some time, but he will oh, get the hex. No, the oh. nice hex there. Okay. Yeah, there is a pull. So oh, this is going to be a kill to Zod. Getting very by Roger, simple though. kill. And the mana yeah. is all burned out. And hello. Yeah, so Stampede cool. was used, though. Yep, Stampede used. Not going to be able to get out there. Shionix playing a little bit careful. He has the Dragon Lance. But I uh, don't want to oh. risk getting one dive on the second yeah. game. Oh, okay. unfortunate. There's going to be a Sun Strike as well. Going to absorb that with the Creep Wave. Stays alive. There's the time lapse immediately brought out. And now Eden is going to be facing the Weaver. Voila, meanwhile, actually killing himself on return. Oh, the Weaver getting hit there by the power shot. A lot of damage there, but the silence comes out. And a pullback here from the Disruptor means that the Wind Ranger is probably going to trade her life over. Oh, is she? Oh, is no. she? One more yeah. tick. One the more Urn will find her. But hey, hello. Here comes Tihi. I don't think that fountain's gonna save you, buddy. 
Wind Ranger crumples into a small pile, and we have Sephir hiding in the trees. They're trying to stay alive, but he's not uh, running. He's getting burnt out there by the Napalm. Trying to turn, but that Napalm makes things so difficult. He's ticking, and he ticks. Rodki gets the unstoppable streak, and uh, we have the PL pushing middle okay. Most of this team fight has been... Which is... Okay? Uh, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but there are no Arcane Boots, so... We might regret it later on. I don't think Big Fab says that they need it. Like, they, they're doing so much with the fellow already. He just blinks in stun. Oh, just the epicenter. Hit. They're gonna look oh, for him no. and immediate blink out. Oh, oh, no. If you ever had a bad day, this that's one, one of that. Zephyr. Wrecked there by the bat. And uh, Eden, you're gonna peace out right away knowing that his friend is dead. And Koala in trouble. Gonna be caught out here, but there is a disruptor glimpse. Nope, that's a Rodki. That's a rocky bat, unable to jump forward in time to get that lasso off. So the Wind Ranger will stay alive. Shopter is in the middle lane, farming up. Yabby. I said the tornado is gonna try and get for the com go for the combo and oh, dice. He gets it. Nicely right. done. That there's textbook combo. Timbersaw comes in. Oh, that's stop immediately. The Timbersaw regrets his decision. There you go, chat wheel time. I regret my decision. Nope. nope Centaur is the horror. Gonna get turned on him, but they do lose the tower. So a nice little TP reaction there, gets his uh, teammates alive. Cliff to hold this tower up for a little bit longer. Here comes Velo, charging with the stampede, and they go in and blind. They go in, they jump onto line. Lion is going to have the silence on him, so he is probably going to drop down. Velo fam, though, he's going to die, and uh, jumping in blind there, definitely not part of the plan. But Sephir going to get run down by that PL, unstoppable now. Tihi Koala, and uh, they're going to find a lot of targets just keeping away from under them. And uh, Keltzizard running away, just kill him off very quickly if he's not careful. And they see Invoker, they want some Invoker. They have Glimpse as well, they land him up oh, and yeah, there is no, no run in front, Ghost Walk oh. or not. Happy's not having a great day today, isn't it, as well? Yep, having a terrible day. Yeah, except of course he's growing bigger and bigger right now. Yeah, I want to see an accept Wow, Sephir running right in here onto the Weaver. Oh, very no. brave and... Like I know, this. you know, as Juggernaut says, fine line between bravery and stupidity. That was uh, definitely to me. Punish. Here comes the PLs. Uh, hello, you throw your tornado? What's up? What up, Yabby? Really, what up? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's depressing. He can't do anything. He just yeah. runs through your ice path. It's great to see ice path getting countered so hard. Oh, well, we have a gem we'll pick up on Sanking. Just just for for, okay. for Sionics. They have Rocky. a jam pickup, but immediate pull out. That's what happens when you hit the observer ward. Eden immediately getting swamped there by the fisherman. Takes him out with the spear, and no, Kelsey's are getting glimpsed as well. Not gonna oh, get out of there. Suicide. Forced to use the bloodstone. And uh, it's time to knock on that front door. The Aghanim Scepter arriving just, just ready to pounce at any moment. That Sephir really should not be at the oh, front no. lines there. Oh, nice style plays. Does get the does get the lockdown there on Weaver. Weaver will drop. The finger of death gets deployed, but it's an ageist life that he just wasted his finger on. So. Uh, he might want to... Actually picked out a lot of spells as well. Might want to be like, a little bit less trigger happy in the future, but oh, Shionix nearly walks into a Sunstrike. Oh, here comes be careful, lesson. but they pulled that Wind Ranger. She does have BKB, she needs to stay alive here. The epicenter, very nicely done from Sephir, but he's going to get brought down if he's not careful. There's a gem, just keeping tabs of his location. Is there a glimpse? There is a glimpse, so they will have the Deso now. Okay, gonna oh, just chip away the BKBs well. all around and a double edge, the godlike oh, no. streak here from that roaming Batrider. Geekfab is just out of control. Right? Come on, Weaver, really? Okay, yeah, Eden, Yabby. Oh, they're gonna see them right from the back lines as well. They charge in onto that Invoker. Immediate silence, poor Invoker. Getting caught out once again. Does he get brought down? I think that's going to be the case. Tihi finds Sephir, takes him out. Rotki is now beyond godlike, and Eden is going to go toe to toe against PL, and that does not end well for the Lion. Meanwhile, the Lotus Orb already uh, ultimately, and the lands get reflected. Oh, Move bad. negative effects. Shield allies and Koala. He's gonna get Lotus up, just protect him for a bit, but there's the lasso, there you go, see? He's gonna trap the bat right on his on his own ultimate, but unfortunately there, there wasn't oh, any follow-up to have that hand oh, oh, that's a really toe-crushing step uh, there from the Centaur. Finds two heroes and Sephir yeah. as well. This game is I don't know, over. man. Yeah, GG should be in the books here. Definitely over. Uh, RRQ, I don't know, they doesn't look like they have any other... 
I think ultimately it's very hard to pin the MVP, but I'll, I'll just say Bad Rider. You know, it's just the easy answer. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Bad Rider as well. Like, first two minutes game, two easy kills, and... How often do you get that for a position for Bad Rider? Yeah, it's uh, one of those games where you just feel really good about yourself. Uh, he did die once, but I think maybe it was neutral, so... He 